Good morning, Year 1. It is the last week of term. I hope you're looking forward to your last week of learning. So as usual, we're going to start with our reading. So don't forget to pause each screen and then have a go at the questions. Okay, so we've got some phonics. Hello everyone, my name is Kerr James and you might have seen me on Brad Scott Talent. I love singing and reading. Are you ready for your Letters and Sounds phonic lesson today? Hello children, I'm Alex. Let's start our Letters and Sounds lesson and learn to read some new words. Let's read some phonemes you know. I'll show you the graphemes on the cards and I want you to read them aloud. Remember, there is more than one way to say some of these sounds. The first card says E. Your turn. Off you go. All right, let's check. E. I or E. E or E. E or E. E. Uh. G or J. A or A or Uh, well done, super sounds. Let's read some words. I want you to spot the graphemes that make the sound E. Are you ready? Can you see E? That's right, it's in the middle, here. Well done. Read each sound as I point and blend to read the word. E d bead. You might have a bead on a necklace. Or you might have a whole necklace made of beads. Have a look at this word. Can you see the E in here? That's right. It's E is here. Read each sound as I point and then blend to read the word. Z, e, z, these. Have a look at this word. Can you spot the grapheme that says E in this word? That's right. Here it is. Read each sound as I point and then blend to read the word. Let's read it together. F, E, V, A. Uh, fever. Fever is if your body gets too hot when you are ill. Where's the E in this word? Yes, here it is. Well done. Are you ready? Off you go. G -r -e -n. Green. Can you see the E in this word? That's right, there it is. Ready, go. Let's read it together. Ch, e, f, chief. Someone who is in charge can be called the chief. What about this word? Where's the E? Yes, here it is. Right, off you go. Let's read it together. T, R, 
eat treat. They went to the cinema for a treat. Lucky them. Next word. Where's the e? That's right. Here it is. Off you go. Are you ready to read it together? Street. Street. Ready for the next one? Final word. Where's the E? Here it is. Well done. Are you ready? Off you go. Let's read it together. Eve. Mm. Even. The numbers two, four and six are even numbers. Great reading. Well done. OK, I'm going to mix them up. Can you read the words without any help? Off you go. You ready? These. Chief. Treat. Street. Even. Fever. Green. Bead. Today we are learning to read a new way of writing the sound E. E. You say it. E. E. And again, E, and again, E, and one final time, E. Let's sound talk some words with the phoneme E. Copy me, say the sounds, and then see if you can blend the sounds to say the word. H, A, P, E. H, A, P, E. Happy. You might smile when you are happy. Let's do a happy smile. Copy me. Say the sounds and blend the sounds to say the word. P, E, K, E. P, E, K, E. Perky. If you are perky, then you are cheerful and lively. Look, this is the perky puppy. Let's sound talk our final word. Are you ready? F, E, S. E. Thirst. E. Thirsty. If you are really thirsty, you need a good drink. We know the sound E is written like this. And we know there are other ways to write the sound E, and they look like this. of ways. Let's read the new grapheme for the sound E. Can you say the sound E each time I show you the flashcard? Are you ready? One more time. E. That was excellent. Now let's read some words with our new grapheme for the sound E. Are you ready? Sound talk each grapheme and then blend to read the word. Let's read it together. H -a -p -e. Happy. Did you get it right? Brilliant. Now try this one. Off you go. Are you ready? P -a -k -e. Perky. Got that one right as well. Well done. Have a look at this word. Remember, in this word, this letter says J. Off you go. Let's read it together. E, N, E, J, E. 
energy. If you have lots of energy, you can run about for a long time and still want to do more exercise. Have a look at this word. Remember in this word, this letter says A. Off you go. Ready to read it together. U, A, D, E. Lady. Lady is another word for an adult woman. Have a look at this word. Off you go. Read it with me. Th, er, s, t, e. Thirsty. Final word. Have a look. Off you go. Read it with me. S, a, uh, n, e. Sunny. When the sun comes out and shines on us, it is sunny. Now, can you read these words without any help? Off you go. Let's check. Read them with me. Sunny. Thirsty. Lady. Energy. Perky. Happy. I'm going to mix them up. Off you go. Read them yourself. Let's check. Read them with me. Sunny, thirsty, perky, happy, lady, energy. Incredible! We are on fire today, children. Now let's learn to read a tricky word that you have met before. Have a look at this one. Can you remember the tricky bit? That's right, these letters say air. Can you read the word? Let's read it together. U, air, where? Now let's practice reading another tricky word. You've seen this one before as well. Can you remember the tricky bit? That's right, here. This letter says air. Oh look, it's our new grapheme for saying the sound e at the end. Can you read the word? Let's read it together. M, E, N, E. Many. Let's read some sentences with our new grapheme in them. Can you see three words with today's grapheme Y says E? Can you see them? Well done. This word this word and this word. Did you find them? Yes, in these words Y says E. Now I want you to read aloud as I point to the words. Remember, sound out any words you are not sure of. Are you ready? Let's read it together. A happy puppy has lots of energy. I think it must be that perky puppy that we were looking at in the picture. Have a look at this sentence. Can you see today's grapheme Y that says E? Can you see it? That's it. It's in this word and this word. Can you see today's tricky word? Can you see it? Well done, it's here. Where? Now, read the words as I point to them and remember, sound out any words you find difficult. Are you ready?
Now let's read it together. It is sunny and I am thirsty. Where can I find a drink? <gasps> I do hope they found a drink somewhere. Let's finish by spelling some words because if you can read a word then you can have a go at spelling it. You will need your paper and something to write with. Let's spell two words with today's grapheme E. Let's spell happy. Segment the sounds with me. H -a -p -e, happy. Let's count how many sounds there are. Happy. H -a -p -e, that's four sounds. Watch me write happy. Remember four sounds. Our digraph P. and E. H -a -p e. Happy. Your turn. Say the word. Happy. Say the sounds. H -a -p e. Remember the digraph. You ready? Does yours look like that? H -a -p -e. Happy. Brilliant. Let's try another one. Let's spell perky. Segment the sounds with me. Perky. P -e -k -e. Let's count how many sounds there are. P -e -k -e. I need four sounds. Let's write perky. Remember, I need four sounds. P. Our digraph er. K. E. P. Er. K. E. Perky. Have a go. Say the word. Say the sounds. Write it down. Are you ready? P -e -k -e. Perky. Did you get that one right? Brilliant. Now let's practice spelling this tricky word. You know this one already. Many. Segment the sounds with me. Many. M, E, M, E. Let's count how many sounds there are. M, E, M, E. That's four sounds. Watch me write many. Remember four sounds. You need to remember the tricky bit as well. This letter says E. Eh. Mm. Oh, look, it's the new way of writing the sound E. Mm, e, eh, mm, e, many. Have a go. I'm going to hide it. it down. Are you ready? M, E, N, E. Many. Did you get it right? Brilliant. Okay, another tricky word that you've met before. Where. Segment the sounds with me. Where. U, E. Let's count how many sounds there are. Where. U, E. That's two sounds. Watch me write where. Remember, we need two sounds. Have you remembered the tricky bits? Mm. 
Ooh. And these letters say air. I'm hiding it, your turn. Say the word. Say the sound. Remember the tricky bits. Have you written them down? Ready? Ooh. Air. Where? Is that what you got? Brilliant. Well done, children. You work so hard practicing reading and spelling. See you next time for another lesson with letters and sounds. Bye. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed your letters and sounds lesson. Well done for all your effort. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And why don't you share a lovely story tonight with someone in your family? Enjoy your book, enjoy your evening, and have a wonderful day. Good luck. Okay, as usual, we've got our maths. So we've got a video and then some questions to have a go at. Well, hello there. It's time for another lesson. And yes, today our lesson is on time to the hour. But why do we need to know how to tell time? Actually, think about it. We need to know the time for loads of activities. We need to know what time do we go to bed? What time do we need to leave for school? What time does the shop close? What time does the train go? All kinds of things. Every day we need to know what time is it. So what numbers are on a clock? Have you ever looked? I've covered up all the numbers, but let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, do you want to count with me? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All the numbers from one to twelve are on a clock. Did you know that a clock has two hands? I have two hands as well. Do you? Here are two clocks. Do you see the hands on the clock? Well, they don't really look like hands, do they? They actually look like arrows, but we call them hands. The hour hand is short. The minute hand is long. And the way I remember that is the word hour is shorter than the word minute, which is longer. What does one o'clock look like? This clock is showing one o'clock. Oh, the minute hand, the longer hand, is pointing to the number 12. The hour hand the shorter hand is pointing to the number one. This is what one o'clock looks like. So what does four o'clock look like? Again, the minute hand is pointing to the 12. And the hour hand is pointing to the four. This is what four o'clock looks like. And now it's time for you to have a go. What time is it? Here are three clocks. Can you tell me what time it is? Pause here, have a go, and then come back and we'll tell the time. Great. Now the first clock shows the minute hand pointing to the 12 and the hour hand pointing to the 8. So, it is 8 o'clock.
That's how we say it. It's 8 o'clock. The next one has the minute hand pointing to the 12, but the hour hand is pointing to the 2. It is 2 o'clock. How about the third one? Well, it is 10 o'clock. How did you do telling time? Let's try a few more. What time is it? And again, here are three different clocks. Pause here, have a go, and then come back and we'll tell the time together. Did you notice what I noticed? This time, the hands on the clock are both the same color. Hmm. Do you remember how we know which one is the minute hand and which one is the hour hand? That's right. The minute hand is long. The hour hand is short. So on that first clock, it is 7 o'clock. For the second one, the hour hand is pointing to the 5, the minute hand is pointing to the 12, so it is 5 o'clock. Oh, and the last one, both hands are pointing to 12. That means it's 12 o'clock. Did you know that time never stops? So for this one, I'd like you to have a go and think about what time is it now on the clock and then what time will it be in one hour. So pause here and think about what time is it now and then what time will it be in one hour. Pause here, take your time and then come back. Okay. I'm ready. On the first clock, I can see that it is 3 o'clock. On the next clock, I can see that it's 9 o'clock. And on the last one, the time is, oh right, 12 o'clock. So what time will it be in one hour? For the first clock, we said it is 3 o'clock, so in one hour. Next is 4 o'clock. In the middle clock, we had it's 9 o'clock, so the next is 10 o'clock. Well done. And on the third clock, it's 12 o'clock, so next it's, yes, 1 o'clock. Well done. Well, hello, Whitney. Oh, a clock. Whitney, I've got a couple of questions for you. Whitney, what time do you wake up in the morning? Can you show me on the clock? Oh, I see that Whitney wakes up at 7 o'clock. Okay. Whitney, what time do you eat lunch? Ah, Whitney eats lunch at 12 o'clock. One more question. Whitney, what time do you go to bed? Well, Whitney goes to bed at 8 o'clock. Let's try this one together. Oh, hi, Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith, we've got some questions for you, too. What time do you wake up in the morning? Can you see? Mr. Smith gets up early. He wakes up at 6 o'clock. Okay, Mr. Smith, what time do you eat lunch? Mr. Smith eats lunch at 1 o'clock. And last question. Mr. Smith, what time do you go to bed? Oh, 
Mr. Smith goes to bed at ten o'clock. Thanks, Mr. Smith. And look, we're out of time. We're at the end of the lesson. So, it's time for you to pause here and have a go at your White Rose Maths Worksheet. And remember, if you don't have a White Rose Maths Worksheet, you can find lots of material available on the BBC Bite Size website. Good luck telling time! OK, so have a go at the Maths Worksheets and remember to mark them. Have a go at the writing task. And that's the end of our video for today.